Hi, it's Joy and today I'm going to be watching Stargirl Season 1, Episode 6, The Justice Society, which is exciting. She has formed it now. She's got four members on her team, um, including herself. I am very excited to see where the show is going to go next. I have loved the beginning of it, um, as you can tell if you've watched my reactions. If you would like to watch my reactions to Stargirl Unedited, please check out my Patreon, where you can also sponsor reactions to whole series or mini-series or pilots. But yes, I am ready to watch more of this show. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know it. Oh, is that the archery it's like girl? going down pretty easy. Maybe you shouldn't be on this team. Why? Ugh. Cause I'm a Sexism. Girl. Bench. You can't just go and punch people. I mean, I can understand the urge to punch that boy, but you should not just punch people. That's bad. Oh dear, are they super villains? They look like super villains. They're gonna kill the coach. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see how you like being taken out of the game. Yep. <laughs> this town is full of super villains and little baby superheroes. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. Uh, is this the aftermath of it when Pat's gonna be like, you've been recruiting? Because you've been waiting on a room all this time. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to get in trouble. In my bedroom. You know, him and his wife weren't killed in a car accident. Mm hmm. They were murdered by Solomon Grundy. How do you know that? Dr. Midnight told me. Mm hmm. Dr. Midnight? Well, his goggles did. <laughs> the new Dr. Midnight. <laughs> she has recruited a team of children. Midnight's goggles and Wildcat's costume, and you bring oh, them back here. Do you want to I completely agree with Pat from like do you want your the logical point of view? Wind up like Joey Sarah. Because, you know, they are kids and it's very dangerous, but I also understand why Courtney is desperate to do something. Do you? Is he going to go and talk to Rick? Because I think Rick could really do with being talked to by a nice adult. <laughs> oh, and give his son that picture, that would mean everything. Oh, I'm still so torn over like what I want to happen in the sense of like I completely agree that Courtney and everyone are too babyish, too much children, to. Oh, what's he? Is he remembering his wife dying? Hello, high school. They are kids, so they really shouldn't be being superheroes. But I also think that if they're capable and sensible and trained, that's better than if they just run off being disobedient children <laughs> fighting without any preparation. Coach. Well, maybe you should stop killing them. I think he was multiple coaches. Is there a coach in two seasons? <laughs> hey, the jerk had it. We're both going back into action tonight. No, they're just babies. All right then, bud. All right. They haven't trained enough yet to destroy you. <laughs> I knew on. I didn't like this guy. I knew he was a villain. You know about this. Three weeks, give or take. But I do my best work under pressure. Trust me. Maybe parent the child. Ooh, volcano. You know, don't just yeah. be a little See bit that? disappointed. Why don't you? Parent him. What time does it start? Oh, parent uh, the child. Two, <laughs> Awkward family times. But I mean, I'm sorry, you need to parent both of these children, but Mike especially. Fixing a fight which oh, he totally she's... didn't do, but by the time you can't the take it back from her because she's finally her. getting like her spark back. This fight was his. I came back, then I have a chance too. Of course you do. That's what being wildcat really is. Oh, sweetie. Even if you weren't wildcat, you'd be able to come back because it wouldn't define you. She cannot take it back from her now. Me. She definitely needs to have a proper conversation with Are Pat. I never read it before, no. Oh, she got a best friend in Doctor Midnight. That's so <laughs> crushing because she needs them in the real world. We should tell <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beth, maybe try talking to Courtney and Yolanda a little bit more. So is he missing school right now? So Could you did met him this, after school. You? My uncle's a jerk. Mm -hmm. Your father would you need never to abuse teach him his power healthier like ways to vent My what he's going dead, through. So what's the matter? What the society killed him? Look, if you're not going to parent your own mom. children, parent this one. Yeah. Wildcat well, proved that. They're just so happy now. So they're acting like friends. Yeah. It makes my heart hurt because I love plan. them. What? You can still be, I mean, this isn't gonna last, but they could still be friends. So pissed. The only good thing that's happened to me in forever. I mean, that's Not true, but at the same soup. time, you guys could be friends, and that could be the best thing that happened to you. Oh, Beth. I have to ask you, what the hell did Starman use you for? Because as far as I can tell, <laughs> you don't do anything. It's kind of, I can get why Rick is saying that, but this is why I feel like everyone needs to get together and use words and talk. <laughs> Toxic parents. Sure you are. This guy's so weird. And that applies to all three of them. 
is someone actually here to parent this child? These kids have all put actual time and effort into these projects. Shocking, I know. Future supervillain. Oh, our parent arrived. Barbara, you came? I'm so sorry I'm late. One of these parents is trying to parent. Oh, I'm glad someone is trying to parent this child. He's in dire need of it. It smells delicious. <laughs> If Pat asks for your staff back, are you giving it to him? Yeah, that is actually, oh, that is a valid point. It's my dad's journal. He was a chemist, right? Oh, I love so his team. I need the most bombs. The is. Pat thought it might be some kind Turn of boat. Bomb. See, he's smarter than you think. She wants to defend Pat with that sleep. They need to talk to Pat, like a proper conversation. Where, like, they make it clear, and Courtney especially, that she I'm doesn't sorry, think it's all some this great game. No match on record. But where I'm she thinks, to provide you know, information. that it's a serious thing and she's taking it seriously. Back into the Empire Enterprises system. A mission? Oh dear, they have not trained even a tiny bit. I'm very worried about this. Company. We can tell us no one tried to take all our stuff. Forget it. Yeah, I'm with him. Oh, you should tell Pat, even if you're time. going, okay? We don't need five. Oh. going to do this. We need to protect our identities. Does this mean I get a costume? <laughs> I'd really like a costume. <laughs> I love that so much. I love all four of them. Date night. You, you have such weird parents. She surely knows they were very weird. Answer. You've never done date night, Mom. Hmm. Well, we're doing it. Which one of oh. you gets to make a wish? Oh dear. It is not Don't that. Be shy. Your mom might have been a super villain, but she did love you. Icicle powers or just normal? That looked a little bit ice clean. I've never I love it. <laughs> so you cute and greeted. In here? Who comes up with these names? <laughs> I love it. Just she looks like a turtle, selected. I love it. So yep. Oh god, I'm stressed. They are babies. Hell yes. I'm sure. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Let's move. You're going to set off the alarm. Well, how are we supposed to get inside then? <laughs> I can do it. This is why you need to practice and teamwork, my darling children. God, oh. Where's the rest of the team? Because he's got other injustice people. They, they were going out for the night, weren't they? Are they around? Oh dear. You're just children. Someone keep an eye out behind you. Have any of you seen a dead person before? Is he okay? No, my love. What do we have? Oh here? no, it's actual heroes because he's breaking in from home. Oh dear. They do not actual villains. Hackers. My pop. So we can stay together. I can do this myself. No, you have to work as a team and agree to your plans. Oh god. Stay down, kid. Oh, we can tell all children. This is terrible. <laughs> Sweetie, you're not a fighter. Unless the cockles have some kind of fighting ability we've yet to discover. Oh, oh, oh you haven't trained? I hate this because I don't know the limits of their abilities or how best to use them and it's very stressful. Oh, darling. Come on, on your feet, you're a cat. Oh god, where is Courtney? She ran after him ages ago. Okay, here is Courtney and the staff. I mean, they've got a lot of potential, but they're also just babies who haven't trained. So, oh, what are you going to do? I love you, but do the bubbles have some kind of ability? Quickly. There's a fire extinguisher. Got okay, it. that's something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. They're really creepy. <laughs> oh god. Oh, come on, Pat, now's the time. Courtney, no, no, no. That's obviously a bad thing, sweetie. The stuff. It's sacrificing itself. I mean, it's not gonna die, but. Staff, sweetie. Oh, it protected Courtney. The staff is still my favorite character. Oh, baby, you're okay. Oh, hello, team. 
I'm with Beth. This would Beth would so be me in this situation, really wanting to try and help being more or less useless unless like a fire extinguisher. But you know, Beth gives us all hope. <laughs> and he's gonna ground you all. Okay, I love this. He's gotta train them at least if these kids are gonna be this like stubborn. <laughs> I guess Court was right. Yep. There's more to Pat than we thought. There is, but he also needs to be better at parenting and articulating listen, himself. I they didn't do any of it. They didn't listen to a single <laughs> word. Very true. Training. Seriously. Serious. What, like it went in one ear and out the other? Right out the other. And it seems to me, based on what you're <laughs> telling me, that you're... Well, I mean, luck will only get you so far, Court. You need training. You do. Training thank you. Needs too. Okay, good. He's taking them seriously. So, they can keep the costumes? I mean, do we have a choice? <laughs> I love them. I can't wait for them to train and bond and become a team. I'm so here for this. Main wave. Oh, yeah. Without him, Project New America is Project Nothing. His son's right, the Jordan? powers. They're not the real <laughs> Justice Society. Not yet. They're just babies we at the moment. Them. Who are they? <sighs> Let's find out. Let's not find out. You have no business finding out. They are minors and their identity should be protected. <laughs> meeting adjourned. I'm sure that was a very productive meeting. Oh, don't finish. Okay, so I really enjoyed that episode. Um, you know, I've been getting very frustrated with the fact that Pat, A, wasn't sort of taking it Courtney seriously but also that Courtney wasn't showing Pat how serious she was taking it if that makes sense like kind of there was a lot of misdirects and it is one of those tricky things because I'm always someone that I struggle when like adults allow children to fight and I know that like 16 17 is that weird age where you're kind of a child and kind of not but you are technically still a child but I think this is the compromise we need to take like these kids now they have seen firsthand how serious it can be if they still want to do it they know it's not all fun and games and all oh, that's an easy mark we'll go deal with him so I think if they choose to stay on then at least now they've had a taste of it and they can train and work as a team I think if that had been the attitude Pat had taken like you can't do anything until you train. They might have been frustrated, but at least I'd have thought he was sort of beginning to take them seriously a little bit more. Kind of like in Titans, how Dick was at the beginning of season two when he was making them train and train and train rather than go on missions and they were getting frustrated with it, but it's because they were young and they needed that training to be able to go out into the field. Um, so I think where we are now is looking really promising for the future, that Pat is kind of gonna let them be a team, maybe hold back on recruiting many more people unless like it happens organically and then he can help them train. And I think these characters have a lot of potential. You know, Beth isn't gonna ever be a super fighter, which is fine, you know? I actually quite like it because I'm always someone that I think, like, if I try and imagine myself into scenarios like this, I'm like, well, I would be useless to everyone. But now I can be like, but I could be Dr. Midnight. <laughs> no, I could, you know, I could spray a fire extinguisher at someone and run away. Um, but I think Beth, like, I'm just really enjoying the fact that A, she has a friend, and that B, she's part of this team now, which means she will become actually friends with the rest of them. You know, already she and Yolanda are sitting closer together and they're already talking and sort of taking a stand against Courtney together and like they're already bonding. So I think that's gonna be really good for Beth. It's gonna be really good for Yolanda. You can already see she's getting that spark back, that purpose back, that self-belief back. And I think that's the worst thing because we all know that what she did wasn't wrong. She actually did nothing wrong. She did something a little bit silly in that she trusted someone that maybe she shouldn't have done, but she didn't do anything wrong. And she's been made to feel like she is a curse and a shameful person when she isn't but I think if this is a way that's giving her self-confidence and her self-belief back I'm loving it and then we have Rick who obviously needs a lot of time to to grow to process I think he's obviously been dealt a very crappy hand in life and you know it hasn't turned him into a villainous person it's turned him into someone that maybe up till now didn't really believe in anything didn't really believe in the world but he wasn't bullying anyone that we know of he was just keeping to himself so I think you know that is a good sign <laughs> with him and I think in there there I mean he was a very there is a very sweet little boy that has been very hurt and I think this team this friends having Pat as like a sort of male figure father figure there's not, I mean, if the mom were to become mental too, that would be nice to get both parents. But, you know, I think he's someone that's going to really benefit from maybe a good relationship with Pat and that maybe Pat can kind of be there for a friend's kid. Um, but I don't know, I'm just excited to see how this character's going to grow. But what I'm most excited for is how their friendships are going to grow and how they're going to turn into an amazing family. And I feel like I don't talk about Courtney quite as much at the moment, but I think at this point in the show, we've really been introducing and getting to know everyone else. 
we're obviously still exploring Courtney, she still grows every episode, but you know, we already know that she is your plucky Gryffindor, your person's going to dive headfirst into danger, that always thinks she, that's got a plan and is always convinced it's the right one, and that she's got the biggest heart of anyone and she'll stand up for the underdog, but we know Courtney right now, so we're kind of getting to know everyone else, and seeing how Courtney's going to function with this team, is she going to be able to be their leader, how is she going to respond with Pat, so I just can't wait to see more of that. Then we have the Injustice Society, and we've got like confirmation about, you know, more members, which is good, and you know, the archery crazy girl Athena is, um, genuinely got crazy parents um she again she is an, like another character kind of like cameron and oh i don't know brainwave sons and name brainwave junior um the three of them are interesting in the sense that this show could go down the route of ultimately them becoming the junior injustice society fighting against you know the the kid justice society but i also think it would be really interesting if they were to have their own set of morals and their own set of what is right and wrong and maybe disagree with their parents and end up fighting with the JSA. I think it's interesting now that we've got three characters that are kind of in that iffy area. We know that Brainwave is definitely, Brainwave Junior is definitely getting powers. Um, we know that Athena doesn't have power, but she's got like, she's an amazing athlete because her parents have trained her that way and maybe she's inherited extra. I don't know whether those people have powers or not but like they're amazing athletes and everything so she's obviously got that um which would be skills she could bring and when Cameron blew out the candle it kind of we could see his breath and I don't know whether that was done as like an effect so we could see him blow it out but to me it looked like it was a little bit of icicleness blowing out the candle and you know again Cameron's another person with quite a tragic backstory with then a dad that goes on lots of business trips and he's raised by his grandparents and I don't know his parents were both super villains Athena we need to get on if she's going to become a main character I feel like we need to get to know her a little bit better to get a gauge on where she would be morally speaking um I mean like she stands up for herself she's a feminist see me and she punches boys when they're sexist to her but you know also like she would go either way all of them could so i think that's another interesting dynamic and then we come to the resident supervillain mike i mean okay i'm being a bit harsh on mike but like i know a lot of shows like to have their precocious kid who you know is just does what he wants and is naughty and like parents get away but like pat is just letting that boy grow up into a selfish spoiled little man like some of the men you look at in the world and you're like yeah they were raised like mike kind of you know if you have like a come if you come downstairs and you find out that your kid has basically left assembling their science fair project until the day of the science fair, I mean we don't have science fairs like that in England. They seem to be such a staple of American life. But like a big project due and he didn't do it and you know he didn't properly start it until the day it was due. You maybe should have a conversation with him about why he didn't do it and like okay sure maybe you have been able to put this together in an hour but maybe if you'd had three hours three days you might have actually done a better like you should talk rather than just be like. Oh, you knew about it three day three weeks ago, right? And just make breakfast. Like, talk to him because it's very clear that no parent thinks their child should intentionally be working to the last day. Now, you know, I have done at uni. I did end up doing one all nighter, finishing off an essay. <laughs> but like, no intention as a parent. You should be raising your children to be responsible and to try. And you know, yeah, what Mike did wasn't terrible, but it came in last. And it came in last not because he tried his very hardest and that was the best he could do, it came in last because he didn't really try that hard comparatively, you know, and I think they need to at least have a conversation with him about that and be like, you know, if that's really what you wanted to make, then maybe you could have made that three days before, or, you know, like, talk to us about it and we could have bought you in the stuff specially to make it, and, you know, I don't know, I just, basically, Mike is being neglected. <laughs> um, I'm really glad that Barbara, that's her mum's mom, name, went to the science fair. I did think Mike, oh, he might be like, oh, don't you come, no parents are coming. I mean, did he actually think no parents were coming? Um, or did he want them to come even though he didn't, didn't say anything? I think it's interesting. I'm really glad Barbara came and that she was kind of supportive of him. I still think that Barbara should have talked to him a little bit maybe. I know she probably feels because she's a stepmom and it's a fairly new thing that she just needs to be more loving and supportive to Mike rather than like disciplining. But I still think maybe they should have had a conversation about exactly what happened with that and with his attitude to school and to life because his attitude to life is I want I get I'll put in the minimum effort and I'll get what I get like I'm worried about Mike I don't know why I keep I'm just I don't know whether this is going to be a big thing or whether it's just me making a big thing out of a small thing um I do think that maybe there'll be some sort of plot where Mike starts to feel like his dad's favoring Courtney because like at every turn Pat is like where's Courtney where's Courtney and we know that's because she's being a reckless young superhero <laughs> but as far as Mike's concerned it's like 
he's got a new stepsister and now all his dad wants to do is check on her and make sure she's okay and just lets him run his life into the ground so I'm intrigued about that but yeah my main thing is that I'm really I love Courtney I love the other three kids on the team Yolanda, Beth and Rick um I love the staff it's my favorite um Pat I'm still like I like Pat do not get me wrong I have no way dislike Pat I think he did a better job finally this episode with trying like he tried to talk to Rick and I enjoyed that but I think he keeps almost doing everything he needs to do with these children and then just sort of not finishing off what he was saying like he's so close to being the kind of guy I want him to be and then he just doesn't but I think hopefully we're going to see more of that now that he's kind of accepting that they're going to be superheroes that they're going to train that these people are dedicated and they want to do it I'm excited about that and I do like his relationship with Courtney I like how much even when she's annoyed with him because she wants to take everything back she still stands up for him and protects him so I am enjoying Pat I just think his son is going to become a super villain <laughs> so yeah I really really love this show I can't wait to watch more thank you for watching